I spent my childhood growing up on St Martin's Estate and eventually I moved to here in Brixton Hill. I'm not ruled by my conditions. I'm me, I'm in charge. I was really good at gymnastics. I was one of the best in the school, doing flips and very flexible. I could do a lot of sort of contortionist work <laughs> and I loved it. When I was in my 20s, my stomach problems started. And then in my 30s, I was diagnosed with IBS, then with diverticular disease and osteoarthritis. Then in 2010, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, 2012 diabetes and 2014 diagnosed with depression. EDS is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and it's a connective tissue disorder to do with collagen. Reading through things that are linked to EDS, suddenly my life started to make sense. Everything fitted into place. It was the eureka moment. It explained the flexibility why I had so many sprains and the guy knew problems. And I sort of breathed a sigh of relief. Yes, now I know what it is. I've also got diabetes. That meant that my diet and a lot of my lifestyle had to change. Pain is quite an issue. Getting out of bed, getting dressed, um, getting washed can be quite difficult. The fatigue really gets to me. I used to love my garden. Now I've just got a few little plants on the patio. Some days I'm fine, you know, no pain at all. And I'll get the dog, we'll go for a walk, just make the most of it, or I'll jump on a bus and go shopping. But the next day I will be shattered. I started getting depressed in 2012, so I didn't actually go to the doctor till about 2014, and I just burst out crying. And she said, "Oh, you've had a lot to cope with over the, you know, over the years." We discussed it and decided to go on a, an antidepressant. I was taking 30 plus tablets a day. After discussion with the GP, I decided I wanted to stop the pain medication and I'm fine. If I need to, I take a couple of paracetamol. I'm very pleased with the treatment I get. I'm under lots of different departments at the hospitals. I keep all my notes, I, you know, I try and get organised. Worst year I had for appointments, 52 weeks and 68 appointments. It just got to the point where I, it was easier for me to give up work. One of the most important things in my life are my grandchildren and I absolutely love them to bits. I think they give me a boost. Mum's positive outlook is what probably helps her the most physically and mentally. Um, yeah, she just doesn't let anything get in her way. The three things that I think keep me healthy, diet, exercise and laughter. Have you had enough yet, Dizzy? I don't look at myself as being ill. I've got conditions and I just get on with it. And if I can't do it, there's always tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Yeah, have fun.